New at six, saving Colorado's architectural history. A nonprofit group is fighting to preserve the history of Colfax Avenue in central Denver by preserving an Art Deco building that's been a part of our community for more than 80 years. I know you've seen it. Denver 7's Jennifer Kovaleski is live there tonight, and Jen, this building is well known. And Smiley's laundromat closed several years ago, but this building where it once stood has become part of the flavor and the lure of Colfax out here. A piece of Colfax identity the community is now fighting to keep. Downtown Denver's skyline is quickly changing as new construction pops up all over the city. Denver is going through an incredible building boom, but now there's an effort to rewind the clock and keep the old while adding to the new. It sits right up on the street, it has great windows, architectural quality that's hard to achieve again today. And save this historic Art Deco building on Colfax, the former home of the famed Smiley's Laundromat. Smiley's Laundromat was the business here for over 30 years. Annie Levinsky runs Historic Denver, a nonprofit that started this online petition to keep the building. A lot of people just really identifying this building as one that really matters to the Colfax identity. Built in 1932, Levinsky says it's one of the only Depression era Art Deco buildings left in Denver. This was uh, on the streetcar line, which was one of the most popular and important streetcar lines in Denver. The building's new owners recently applied for a certificate of non historic status with plans to demolish the building and turn it into a five story apartment complex. They're tearing down everything that Denver has. But after hearing from the community, the owners decided to change course and reconsider their options. We're optimistic that we'll be able to find a solution. While Smiley's future looks bright now, Levinsky says she hopes Denver will continue to reflect on its own history before we wipe out all the old for the new. Keeping our historic buildings while we also continue to build new creates that dynamic flavor that's so important. Now the owner tells me that they're now in the process of working with the community to try to find a solution that works for everyone. Now one of the options that they're considering is turning this vacant lot into a new building while keeping the Art Deco part intact. Now if you want to sign that petition, we have put a link to it on the Denver 7 app. Reporting live in Denver, Jennifer Kovaleski, Denver 7.